Good afternoon, East Texas. I'm Tom Mitzoff, and this is the ET Final Score Afternoon Sports Update. With a 200 par 70 in the final round, Tiger Woods won his eighth Arnold Palmer Invitational today at Bay Hill in Orlando, Florida, with a two-shot win over Justin Rose. Woods also reclaims the number one spot in the world. He was last on top of the rankings in October of 2010 when Lee Westwood took over the top spot from him. ESPN is reporting today that the injury-racked New York Yankees are close to a deal with the Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim for outfielder Vernon Wells. The Yankees will start the season with outfielder Curtis Granderson and infielders Alec Rodriguez, Derek Jeter, and Mark Teixeira all on the disabled list for extended periods. Wells would give the Yankees the potential for some right-handed power, though he has slumped badly in the last two seasons with the Angels. Justin Doherty of Springfield, Missouri had a very happy birthday on Sunday. His girlfriend bought him tickets to the Oklahoma City Thunder versus Portland Blazers game in Oklahoma City, and then he hit this mid-court shot for a $20,000 prize. First thing he does is look to his girlfriend in the stands to give her a big hug, and then as he runs back on the court, he's tackled in a celebratory manner by Thunder star Kevin Durant. Take a look. Our focus in on .me sports photo gallery of the day was taken by our Troy Hayes at Saturday's East Texas Bombers versus GRITS Roller Derby match. All the photos are available for purchase. Visit focus in on .me by clicking the link in the upper right side of the toiletpaper.com homepage. Our ET Final Score Facebook fan of the day is Zach Leatherman, who answered our question last Friday. Could, should, could Earl Campbell play in the today's NFL with the new rule about hitting with the helmet? And Zach said, None of the old stars can compete in the uh, man, mamsy pansy league that is our current reality. Too many rules. You can be our ET Final Score Fan of the Day tomorrow by visiting our Facebook fan page and answering today's question, will the Florida Gulf Coast Eagles win any more games in the NCAA tournament or will their Cinderella run end? We'll see you back here tomorrow.